my Minnesota music story is really my whole music story as I've actually been playing in the United States longer than I, I ever was uh, back home. In the summer of 1997, I had an ad on a music site called musicscene.org, wondering if anyone would be interested in playing music with me when I'd be over that September. Uh, and a guy named Jason Wall answered the ad, and he said that he and the drummer from his band, Mike Jorgensen, would be would be into it. We spent the summer exchanging emails and talking about music and uh, and making phone calls and making plans for when I'd, I'd visit Minneapolis. Jay and MJ now are some of my oldest friends. Uh, we've been playing and recording music together off and on for 24 years now. Sitting down Stronger than we were 
another piece of the story is from the early 2000s. Um, I was revisiting Minneapolis and had a solo show at the entry. Um, and I, I parked the car on the surface lot uh, where Block E is now, and it was dark. <laughs> Uh, and I was walking across the parking lot with my guitar and uh, two guys started to run towards me. And I was thinking to myself, oh no, this is, this is it. I'm getting mugged or beaten or, or worse. <laughs> and one of them said, are you Leslie Rich? And I said, yeah. And they both smiled and said, well, we're in so-and-so band. I, and I can't remember the name of your band, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. But uh, we're on the same bill as you. And we're really excited to see your set. And I just thought, wow, this is, this is my city. That event, among others, is what finalized in my head uh, that I was going to emigrate. Basically, the friends that stood beside me uh, or what made the INS approve that application. I got my citizenship in 2017 and I've never been happier to participate, support and engage in the Minnesota music scene. Missing 